Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Today we have a new Kong Nose Ray fish right here to add to our collection. And you can see on the table we have at least three to four hundred different sea animal figurines right here. Okay, so let's go through every single one of them. Let's go. Okay. Let's go, okay? The first figure right here is actually the new Cow Nose Ray that a Dan Safari in the center. It is a beautiful one, a 2010 Safari LTD figure. You can see it is our biggest Cow Nose Ray figure right now, I'm pretty sure. We have another one over here. We will do a comparison later on, so I'm just gonna put this one right here first. Okay, next we have a Reef Squid. We haven't seen these figures for quite some time, so I would need to reorganize them again. Next, Koi Fish. Beautiful Koi Fish. Koi Fish are well known for their long lifespan. And here's another one. They can actually live up to one to even 200 years old, which is very, very impressive. Next, we have a Polar Bear, which was also sent to us by the Dan Safarian. Okay, beautiful polar bear. We have a couple of polar bears in our collection. The collection is definitely expanding for the polar bears. 2008 polar bears. Okay, next we have an arowana right here, a beautiful fish, which is a very popular species for home aquariums. Next, what do we have right here? This is actually a box fish, but it doesn't really look like a box. I will do a comparison with the other one later on. And what do we have right here? Puffer fish with plenty of spikes. Very interesting sea animal, I would say. And what about this one? Beautiful jellyfish. And this, I think this is a red snapper. Not exactly sure, but I think so. And here's another fish, which looks very, very cool. I can't remember his name, so I need you guys to do some homework. Google this. What is this? Let me know down below, okay? Starfish. And we have a walrus with two huge tusks. Beautiful Safari LTD walrus, 2004 figure. Here's another one. We do have a small collection of walrus figures. Here's another one. This one is really beautiful. It's from Schleich. Next, penguin. What type of penguin is this? Let's take a look. Gen 2 penguin. And here we have a blue spotted ray. So the ray fish will go into this box, which I am placing some polar bears, some penguins inside. Okay. And here we have another snapper. What do you call this, guys? Is this like a dragonfish? This is a really beautiful one. It's from Bully Land. So I need the help of you guys to name this sea animal as well. Alligator Garfish. And let's see what else we've got. Sea Cow. Alright. And here's another polar bear. And it's a cup. This is a stonefish. Very interesting looking fish. This figure is not from one of the big brands such as Safari, LTD, Papo and stuff like that. Flatfish. Really gorgeous. This flatfish is very interesting. It actually lays flat on the ocean sea floor. And you can see, it actually looks like a normal fish if you view it from the top. But if you view it on the side, you can see one side actually doesn't have any eye. So both the eyes are on just one side of the face. Very, very interesting. We have a blue crab right here. Here's another one. And this is actually known as a blue crab. The name is a blue crab. A 2010 Safari LTD figure. And here's another huge crab. This is a Goliath grouper. A huge mouth. Red fish. Very interesting fish. 
And here we have another penguin. Seems to be an emperor penguin. I think so. Spotted seal from Collect A. Very gorgeous one. Dugong. Manatee. Okay. And this is an Atlantic bluefin tuna. Gorgeous as well. This is a marble ray. It basically gets its name because the patterns on its body actually looks like the patterns on the marble stone. Leopard seal. You can clearly see it has very very sharp teeth. A pretty ferocious sea animal. Emperor penguin and a penguin chick. This is a beautiful figure from Peppo. I love how they have painted the feathers with a shiny sheen. It has a very glossy kind of shiny look. Manatee. Piranha. And this is actually from Safari LTD 2014. They are well known for being nicknamed as the meat-eating, man-eating fish. Stingray. It has a sting right at the end of the tail. This is another garfish, I suppose. Clownfish. Hermit crabs. Do you guys know hermit crabs? They actually do not have a shell. They have a very soft body, which is slightly curved. And they have to go around looking for shells to protect their body. So hermit crabs basically have different shells. And if they can't find any shells, sometimes they will actually go on to the beach and they will find cans, they will find bottle caps as a replacement for the shells. Yep, very cool. I love this. Okay, let's see. This one seems to be a goldfish. Very beautiful, very gorgeous figure. It's from Safari LTD 20. 13 figure goldfish. Another alligator garfish. This seems to be a spider crab. Or a king crab. It could be a king crab. A seal. Nice one. And here it's a palm head rest. Another arowana. Octopus, they are the masters of this guys. They are able to transform their shape, transform their skin color, texture to blend in with the surroundings. This is a king crab. Horseshoe crab right here, which is a living fossil. They existed millions of years ago, and right now they can still be found as well. Puffin. Stripe. And here is an emperor penguin. Rock hopper penguin, which you can easily recognize it. Bites feathers on both sides of the head. Very, very cool. Frogfish. Pretty interesting looking fish. It has two inverted comma legs that are able to help it walk on the ocean seafloor. Very, very interesting, I must say. Coelocanth. This is an extinct species of fish, a prehistoric fish, to be exact. We have a mini ray. Manta ray. This is a beautiful one. 2018 Safari LTD figure. Polar bear. From Papo, very realistic looking, and here's another one which is really gorgeous. And this is also from this is actually from Procon, which is collecting beautiful manatee. This is a large mouth bass. This is a crucian cup. Chambered Nautilus. 
across the shin octopus it has eight tent tentacles one two three four five six seven eight here's another one this one looks very cool if i'm not wrong this is also from Peppo. and here we have a big hermit crab check this out a pretty big one and it has actually found a very nice shell to live in it's a smaller one so they constantly have to look for new shells if they grow up and here it's a jellyfish there are plenty of different types of jellyfish plenty of species plenty of different shapes and colors so they're gorgeous this one seems to be a sea anemone i'm not too sure but i think so very beautiful and gorgeous as well salmon well known for being used as a food food source lobster this is a premium figure from collecte if i'm not wrong yep right here it should be indicated it is from collecte gorgeous stuff Here's another crab. This seems to be... It looks a little bit like a coconut crab. Another crab. I don't really remember what it is known as. And here's a crab with one claw. Kao knows Ray. This is the smaller version and this is basically the big one. And both of them are actually from Safari LTD is just a bigger version of it okay cool penguin african penguin weedy sea dragon i like this a lot it is very colorful it also looks like a seahorse this is a box fish box fish which i was talking about and you can see in terms of the shape it definitely looks more like a box if you compare it with the blue one. The blue one seems to be more of a rectangular box. So both are very interesting as well. Catfish. So this whiskers right here, actually, it's the tool for it to find its way in the water. So it's very nice. Flying fish. This one, it's a bass, a silver bass. Squid. Another squid, reef squid. Octopus. So just now I was showing you guys the weedy sea dragon and I feel it looks slightly similar to a seahorse. They have similar characteristics such as, you know, the shape of the body. Lobster. Sorry, not lobster, it's a shrimp. A mini jellyfish, which is very cute. A swordfish. Anglerfish. This is a very beautiful figure, which was sent to us by a dance safari as well, if I'm not wrong. And it actually has this little mechanism in front of his head. This thing will actually emit light. That will attract small little sea animals such as fish or crew in front of it and the anglerfish will just move forward to eat them up. Very very cool. This is a puffer fish. Blue tang, we have two of them. Yellow tail, blue tang. Here's another crab but I have no idea what is the exact species of this crab? Yep, I can't remember all the names to be honest, and I apologize for that. Humboldt penguin. Here it's soft African penguin sliding on his belly. This is a longfish. Two mini moray eels right here. Beautiful. Mini lobster. And here we have a panda. Sorry, not panda. 
Why did I say panda? Polar bear cop. 2008. Here's another one. We have quite a number of them, to be honest. Mini seahorse. This is a gorgeous one. From Schleich. Anglerfish. This figure looks very cartoonish, I would say. We got this from like Toys R Us. Clownfish. Nemo, to be exact. A lobster. Spotted seal. Clownfish. This is from Mojo. Not too sure what this is. Is this like a Moorish idol? Nudie Branch. They come in all sorts of colors. And this one can be considered as a pretty dull color scheme, I would say. There are plenty of other very, very cool colors. This one should be a spider crab. Manta ray. Penguin. Sturgeon. It has a very aerodynamic body that allows it to swim really fast. This is a Nile Bircher. One of the very weird looking fish, I must say. Galpis Eel is another one. We have a three-eyed crab, I think. A shrimp. A very tiny little dugong from Colorado, Anglerfish Fox Face Rabbit Fish Emperor Penguin Cheek Very cute and adorable A pretty big Moray Eel Plus the two of them just now was very small Another Octopus This one, wow, this is interesting. It's a crab, but I can't remember what it is. I know this is a coconut crab. They are able to climb up trees, which is kind of impressive. They climb up trees to harvest coconuts. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. Here's another hermit crab. You can see this one has a pretty big shell. This one, another crab. Tiny litter, manatee, very cute. Sailfish. Sally, light food crab. Beautiful one. It has plenty of colors. This one is an eagery. Very gorgeous. From Peppo. Manta ray. King Crab This is a very weird looking sea animal There are a couple of sea animals which I can't remember the name So if you guys know that I didn't pronounce it or I didn't say it You can just help me out down below Leopard Seal Sea Lion Another Ray very cool. Tiny little eagle ray. Emperor penguin. Chin strap penguin. You can see it has a stripe across the chin. So it's very, very unique. And what is this? Gentoo penguin. Rock hopper penguin. It has the most stylish fur, I would say, or hair. Here's a closer look. Rockhopper penguin. The feathers right here looks very, very cool, I must say. Ray. Seems to be a, I'm not too sure, coconut crab. I have no idea. 
black-footed penguin. Harp seal. Tiny little sea lion. A mini walrus. This is a Safari LTD Good Luck Mini Blue Tank. Two penguins right here. Polar carp. Very cute. Sea lion. Polar carp. Mini Atlantic Blue Fin Tuna. Or mini Dugong. Fox face rabbit fish. Tiny little one. Small little manta ray. Last but not least, we have our small little penguin cheek, which should be an emperor penguin cheek. Very cute and adorable. So, yeah, these are some of my sea animals collection. Very soon, I'll be able to do a larger one, maybe together with the shark, together with the dolphins as well. But that will take a long, long time, okay? Thanks for watching this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.